Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? Today, we got a video about Inside Sinners in Solo Rec. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know, I am a bigger fan of shooting sinners over Inside Sinners. That is obvious, but I'm not a hater of Inside Sinners. A good Inside Sinner that knows how to use the dunk meter, knows when to screen, knows when to slip, that's all great in my book, and I think they can be effective builds. But playing Solo Rec, you guys can see, we're going up against a 7-footer. He shoots 63% from the field, 11 rebounds. All of his teammates are shooting amazing from three. He's got some 99 go tiers. Everybody on his team is a 99 overall. They're all shooters. An inside center, you would think, would be the perfect complement to his team. But you're going to see it doesn't work out that way. Now, first things first, whenever I'm going up against an inside center, you can see I am helping in the paint. He's trying to move out of the guy's way while he's driving but I'm still there. I'm still going to be able to get a contest. You can see the guard too. I got to make this very clear. The guard is really nice moving around screens. You're 99 out of 100 times. You're not going to get a guard on your team as good as the guard he was playing with. He's able to get himself open, get himself some buckets. But at the end of the day, he's not going to be able to drive because I'm playing low. This isn't a situation of Comp Pro-Am where I need to step on the screen. I need to make sure, you know... We're running triangles, you know, we're running stacks, nothing like that. All I have to do is shade for just a second, and then after that, I mean, you can look. He's catching the ball, he's setting on-ball screens, he's setting off-ball screens, but because he cannot shoot, none of his teammates have the option to drive. It's the exact opposite on my team. All of my guys are going to be driving to the hoop a lot. Now, once again, check out this PG. There's not even a screen. He's able to crab the defender on him. This is not a situation where his teammates are bad, so they can't utilize his inside center skill set. They definitely can, but it's random rec ball. I'm not going to lie. If somebody can't shoot, I'm not going to guard him. I'm sitting in the paint. I mean, look at this. He drives. I'm jumping. He gives it to the center, just chilling in the paint. Now, if the center could meter dunk, it would be a bit of a different story. He'd be able to score a little bit more. But if I'm in good positioning, meter dunking is not going to save you. Check this out. My guy drives, throws the bailout pass. I'm there at the mid-range. I'm scoring two-pointers, by the way, too. He's an inside. I'm a stretch, but I still have the ability to post oak shoot middies. I can still rebound. I can defend. Why not be a shooting center if I can play like an inside center anyway? I mean, I'm even able to get down in the paint for offensive rebounds. You guys can see I'm showing you a few clips. Our offense was hey, not yeah, perfect man, either. But I will say, even though, you know, we're kind of struggling to get some buckets every possession, what is helping my teammates out is the ability to drive through the hoop because they have the spacing. Whereas, whenever these guys are getting good defense played on them, look at this. The center I'm guarding setting off ball, that's a smart thing to do. But it's not doing anything because I'm just playing low. My guy's going over it. He gets to the paint. He's not able to, you know, post score me, dominate me in the paint, even though he's an inside. They end up just getting stuck in a bad situation where... You can't drive it. So what else are you going to do? If they're playing high on you, they're not going to give you the three. They're not going to give you the fadeaway. Look at this. I'm playing low on the center. He's going to the three-point line. He has no ability to shoot, though. What's going to happen? He's going to throw the ball to the inside, and he's going to what? Pass it again. I'm not worried about it. I'm not defending that. I'm playing low once again. The center just chilling around the paint. My guys are starting to play good defense. He's setting an off-ball. He's setting an on-ball. He's not there for the rebound. I'm able to grab it. We're able to get a fast break. Life is going to be hard for this team, whereas with us, I mean, you can see he's leaving me open for the pop a lot. That's not something you should do, but at the end of the day, a lot of the time as a center, and you can see, man, I'm still setting some big bodies. We're still able to use screens. We're still able to get open for threes where they are, you know, they're just trying to chuck mid-range fades because they don't have the drive. Now you see 30 to 41. I have 10 points, a decent amount of rebounds. I haven't even taken a three-pointer attempt yet. The center on the other team, five points, four rebounds. It's not like he's doing anything to initially sell his team. He's not shooting bad. He's not getting a bunch of turnovers. It's just they have no spacing. All game, they're getting boxed up at the three-point line. They're getting boxed up at the mid-range line. My guy's sitting at the three-pointer. Sometimes insides think that's the way to do it, but as I said, man, I'm just ignoring them now. They end up scoring right here. This score should not have even been close. You guys are wondering, how are they just scoring, though? I get out of here. Nah, bro, you ain't been getting me fucking ball. As my guys are starting to argue, you're wondering, how are they scoring if their spacing is that bad? And that's just because my guys are leaving people open randomly. 
Random rag ball, you guys know how it goes, but these guys should not have half the buckets they do on ball screen right here. My guy gets over it. I'm playing low. Once again, they're throwing the ball around the three-point line. We're putting pressure on him. My guy's in the corner. He's definitely zipping the ball around. He's passing it, but I mean, as you guys can see, once again, this guy gets a crab off the PG. Everybody on this team was great at getting a bucket. And that's, you know, I didn't want to show you guys a video of, you know, him playing with a bunch of slashers and it's their fault he lost. These guys are still getting to buckets even though they should not be. If we had good defenders and, you know, shout out to the teammates, they were playing okay defense, but it was nothing too stellar. Check this out too. I hit him with a flashy pass. He ends up missing it. I give him a chance to redeem himself with another flashy pass. Unfortunately, he's going to miss it as well. And as you guys can see, I'm getting offensive rebounds on the inside center. What is this man doing that he needs so much? What? Does he got high rebounding, high block, higher finishing? He's an inside center. He doesn't have shooting. What is he doing that makes it worth not having shooting on his build? He's not dominating the paint. He's not dominating the rebounds. He's not getting a bunch of blocks. He is... You know, sitting in the paint, causing the spacing to be horrendous. He gets the ball at the top of the key. Zero percent for three. I was like, oh yes. It's gonna be a game. I mean, you can hear my teammate talking about it right there. He saw that he shot zero percent for three. Oh yeah, I seen everybody shot fifty percent from three. I was like, oh, that's 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 nice. He saw that we all shoot 50% from three. Awesome. So it's just easier when everyone has the ability to drive, everyone has the ability to shoot, everyone has the ability to do a little bit of everything. You see, I got the sharpshooting takeover active man and my guy finds a shot right there. I'm able to go down for the board. Nice hob jumper right here. Doing a little bit of it all. 18 points, 14 rebounds. I've only missed one shot. My guy's sitting at the top of the key. He's passing the ball. Like I said, man, it's not his skill set. It's not the guys he's playing with. Once again, they end up scoring not because the insides, you know, making a great play. The PG's making a great rap. Just because my guys are not playing good defense. I had him with a nice spin jumper right here. That should not happen. They should not be scoring at all because defense is easy when you're guarding inside. You just sit in the paint. You don't guard them. That's all it is. You know, it's not the case in Cal Pro M. It's not the case in, you know squad rec where you know you have a team fit to work with an inside center but in solo rec it's not going to work out most of the time you're going to be playing with a bunch of slashes that are just going to be pissed you're crowding up the paint i get dotted at the three-point line right here everybody loves playing with the shooting center it makes everyone's life easier check this out a little front fade right here we're trying to get my man a double double you got me come on good pass good pass oh a little putback lay right there. One of the guys on my team on. is starting to get Hold hype. I'm trying to Hold hit him with this sharpshooting takeover. Hold on. No, fuck that. I want it harder. I want it harder! Oh, oh, oh. And then we're just oh, flopping oh, because <laughs> this man is being crazy in game chat. <laughs> Let me know if you guys did enjoy the video, what you guys think about inside centers. Once again, if you're an inside center, it's cool, but your life is going to oh, be <laughs> a bit harder in the solo rec. But if you play a lot of squads rec, pro-am, <laughs> definitely it works out. <laughs> but my suggestion... Oh, shit. Make a shooting center. You're going to love life a lot more. You're going to be able to do more. I think it's a more fun build to play on. <laughs> This guy is going crazy. And in my opinion, you can honestly play like an inside and an outside at the same time. You'll be lacking a little bit. You know, maybe your block will be a tiny bit low, but you can make it work. This is Donic Man. I will catch you guys in the next one. I got to see that because that was...